Hello everyone, how are you? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Windows on your computer without an external media like USB or CD. We're going to install official Windows, clean installed Windows officially on our computer directly from the ISO image file and it's going to be clean. We are not going to leave any files or any, the old files of the operating system or version of Windows that we were using. They are going to remove, we are going to do a clean install you will be all get able to get all of your updates and uh, you will be able to do everything you will do with a traditional normal windows version and we also have to activate your windows as we traditionally do with our installation of windows new installation of windows as it's going to be a clean install you also have to back up all of your data as i mentioned in the beginning of this video it's a clean install and all of the data will be removed um, so you also need an ISO image file officially from a down, from Windows, Microsoft Windows website and I'm also going to show you everything without any wasting time. Let's start. Here we are guys on our computer screen. As you can see I'm running Windows 10. Let me prove it as well to you. I'm going to type WinWar. And as you can see, I'm running Windows 10 version 22H2. It's the official and current version of Windows, and it's Windows 10 Pro Edition. Uh, you also have to identify which computer architecture you are running, like 32-bit or 64-bit. The easiest way to identify if you're running a 32-bit or 64-bit is to go into your uh, computer settings and then into System and, sc and scroll all the way down to About section. As you can see, I'm running a 64-bit operating system and an x86-based processor. If you're running an x32 or 32-bit operating system, you won't be able to install Windows 11 because Windows 11 is only available for 64-bit. So now we are installing Windows 11. So we're going to download Windows 11 from their official Microsoft website. I have given a link of that in the description. I've also given the link for Windows 10. Uh, if you want to install Windows 8 or Windows 7, for example, there are some other websites from which you can download the ISO image file, but it will be unofficial and it's not Microsoft is not currently officially allowing users to download Windows 8 and Windows 7 ISO image file from their official website because now these website uh, these windows are obsolete or unsupported by Microsoft. Currently, Microsoft supports only Windows 10 and Windows 11, so you can download these officially from their website. So you have to go into this website as I told you before I have given a link of this in the video description so now you have to install download the ISO image file so there are three options by which you can install it actually two options for the ISO and uh, the one is create Windows 11 installation installation media is actually for those devices which are uh, which doesn't have that good internet connection and if you have a good internet connection you have to download the ISO image file directly so we have to select our edition obviously there's only one edition and it's as you can see it's only for x86 devices windows 11 is not for 32-bit if you're in a 32-bit the last version of windows that you can install is windows 10. so we have to click on it and we have to just download it now we have to select our language uh, i'm going with international english international you can select which one you want and then just confirm it and then you will have a link to it as you can see we have the download button and the link is valid for 24 hours which means you can start installing from this uh, uh, link for up to 24 hours and after that it will be expired so you have to click on this download button and windows will start to download but i have also downloaded it and as you can see here's the iso image file so now after downloading the official windows you have to do one thing actually you have to download a software a third-party software which is going to help us uh, install windows officially directly from this of um, directly from this ISO image file without using USB or CD or DVD and the name of this software is win to HDD and this is their official website as you can see I've given its link in the description as well you can go directly to download this from directly download from this link and as you can see we have two options to download the free version and to upgrade you can download the official free version from here directly as you can see it's going to start downloading 
but there's a catch with this free version you can only install windows uh, home home editions you can't install pro editions but it used to, to install windows pro versions uh, in, in their free version so to there's a hack or I should say there's a trick to install windows 10 pro or windows 11 pro editions is to use the older version of the software in which the free edition of this software also allows you to install windows 11 pro or windows 10 pro editions so you obviously are not gonna find this old version here but i have given the link of the older version in my video description for both 32-bit and 64-bit let me show you those here is the one which we which you downloaded right now but this is the one that you have to download if you want to install the pro version of windows it's also for 32-bit and 64-bit i've given the link of this as file in the video description for right now i'm running windows uh, x64 version so i'm going to install this one and i'm so going to try I can also use Windows. Uh, this software's free version, but as I, in this video, for this video, I'm going to install uh, Pro Edition, so I'm going to use the older version just to show you guys. So just on click, I accept, and then next, next. It's the official version, just the older version. Let's just install this and wait for it to install. And here we have the software. Now we just okay. It opened up like a tab. Just close it and double click on it to open it. Click yes. So it's checking for wind, uh, checking for new update, and already know there's update, but we don't want to install it. So just close this. Okay, and then we have to select reinstall Windows, and then now we have to select the iOS image file that we have downloaded. For me, here is the ISO image file. So just I have to click on this button and then select that ISO image file, which is in the desktop. You can see Windows. So now it's going to show all the versions of Windows from which you have from the ISO image file, which you can download for all of those basics up to education. You can install with free version, but it's also free. But the old with the new version, you can only install up to edition, uh, up to education. And if you want to install pro version, you have to either buy the software, but in our case, it's a trick I'm telling you guys to use the older version, which used to have these uh, for free. So we're going to select Windows 11 Pro. As you can see, we're running an old version of this software, so it's going to allow us. So just click on Next to start. And one more thing, uh, as you can see, if you have just one partition in your computer, like I do, I've just C drive. So as I told you in the beginning, this is a clean install. So the ISO image file this is that is there is also going to be saved in the C drive. Once it once the software remove every file from the C drive, it's going to also remove the ISO image file. So it's better to put this on another extra, on a, another partition. So we have to create another partition to save this ISO image file. You can also create the this uh, partition to save all of your backups. So this is around 4.4 gigabytes. So we're going to create around. 6 GB at least to just store this ISO image file and 6 GB is equal to roughly 6000 MB so now let me show you how to create this partition just right click on your start and then click on disk management right click on your C drive click shrink now you have to enter the size of the partition that you want to create in MB as we told you we are going to create a 6 GB which is roughly equal to 6 thousand megabytes just click on shrink and here we have 5.86 approximately 6 uh, tb of partition so it's now unallocated so we have to create it as a volume so just click right click on it click on new simple volume and then next 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 finish so as you can see the new partition is created here is it so after the after creating the partition we just have to simply Move the ISO image file from the C drive into a D drive. So now the ISO image file is saved here. So we have to open up the software again. 
new installation now we will take give it the image address so now it's in new partition here's the new partition and here's the iso file just click on it click the region you want to select windows 10 11 pro click next don't try to touch anything in here just click on next simply now it's going to say WinP. you need to build a WinP image obviously if, so you have to click on if you want to continue obviously yes Now it's saying all the data on the selected device will be destroyed, so we will click on yes. So now it's gonna reboot the device. Back with our video, here we were in the steps, so I click on yes. Now it has started the initializing process and it's now restarting my computer. So as you can see it has now started installing the window here and we just have to wait for a few minutes for it to complete so let's just wait it's why currently at zero percent so after it will be at hundred uh, percent we have already selected restart the computer so the computer will restart and it will start uh, completing the next steps by itself As you can see, the procedure is completed and now it's restarting. From now on, everything is uh, traditional as it used to be, like this is normal installation of Windows. It's gonna take some time, it will reboot a few times, and then we will be in the Windows setup from where we can land to our desktop. And we are then so just have to wait for it to restart a few times. Now as you can see we have put it up into the windows uh, setup here as you can see so I will do it to do the setup and then show you guys do the desktop. As you can see guys, we have successfully put it up into Windows 11. And let me show you, this is the same computer. If I go into my file explorer, this PC. As you can see Windows is installed, we have the OneDrive, the basic C drive and the D drive which we just created to just save the ISO image file. Here is that same ISO image file, Windows. Now I will also show you to how to remove that uh, partition and Combine it back to the previous uh, C drive, but let me show you one more thing. Winbar. As you can see, we are running Windows 11 latest version as well, 34H2. And now let me show you how to uh, combine that partition that we created. Right click on it and then click on Disk Management again. Just right click on the partition that you created and just click delete volume 
click yes yes now after you should see unallocated right click on the c drive in which you want to extend this volume click on extend this volume then click on next 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 finish and there we go our created partition has merged up again this partition was basically used to store our iso image file for installation and you can also use it to save all of your backup device backup files in this so after the installation is completed you can move all of your files from the partition that you created to the c drive and windows 11 is working perfectly i hope yeah, I hope you like this video. If really, then don't forget to subscribe this channel, like this video. Uh, all of these links are in the video description for Windows 11 ISO, Windows 10 ISO image file, and the official uh, download page for uh, the software that we use, Win2 HDD. Also, the free version or the old version in which you can use it to down install Windows Pro versions, which I've given in the video description as well. It's a zip file, you can download it and then extract it, and then you'll see those two folders which can you use to install Windows. So, thanks for watching. I will meet you in my next video. Goodbye.